Hey everybody, welcome in. And I had to jump back straight back in after the Frozen team got wiped out by a bad contract. I was just, I was just this close. I was this close. I was like 0.7 percent of a bar left. So I had to jump back in and take a team that I was planning to use on the next step. So this is this is the easy contract. This is the contract that you want. Except this it looks like you're getting your offense down. But boom, one bad effect. So I've got to inflict four bad effects. There's one, two. The, the, the Little Mermaid team seems like they are going to be amazing in every single round. And I'm one hit, one two gay hit. One two gay hit is all I needed more to do with that Frozen team before the contract ended. And I would have been away with that team on this next level. That is heartbreaking. But I believe like... Even the, like the contracts like heal a whole bunch or the levels out of poison, everything is, this looks cool. This looks cool. That is all, I like the transition between this, this is awesome. Okay, so what I want to try and do is, I can, you can either go for damage buff right about now, or you can go for turn meter reduction, but I think turn meter reduction will be more important later. Um, I'm going to use, ooh, do I want to get offense down? Let's just try and get the defense down, resisted. Okay, I probably should have used, I probably should just should have used them against uh, the next, the next, uh, all right, do I want to, I'll go for her and see if I can just deal a decent amount of damage. One, <laughs> decent damage, oof, well, Ariel can cure the poisons at least. So, boom, this is like this team is going to be like the best team to run relatively on every single stage. And even better when you've got Trident and the rest. But I'm not going to use my stare down just yet because, let's see if I can get a slow, no, resisted, always resisted. Um, I'm going to see if I can just do as much damage as I can to her and this time I'll go for... Do I want to take out one of those? I probably should. I'll go for this one since that this one doesn't have defense off defense down. So now at least both of them have defense down. So no points. Oh, ooh, this is this is where things are gonna get tricky. Do I want to take out the tentacles? Or do I want to get continuous damage on her? I don't want her to get a turn early, but I want to get, get rid of these these tentacles. So by doing this, at least she's not going to get extra turn. I should probably take out one of these. Let's see if I can take out... Hiya! Okay, at least I can guarantee one less attack. So, that, that's... I, you just need to get rid of these tentacles. You need a plan to get rid of these. No bubbles! Okay, this is not going to be good. The reason why I say this is not going to be good is because... I'm just going to attack here. Okay, I probably should have taken out the, the ten yeah, I should have taken out the tentacle because these things will just keep attacking and purging and oh, there we go. Tentacles down. And oh, okay, so I ran Clock Tower in this team just to try and polymorph the tentacles or to test to see if this would work. But I know it's not gonna work on Ursula, so this is just gonna be a wasted spell this time up until I get her she gets her tentacles back. So this is a little bit of waste. You can definitely control this better. That was not good. But I do want to see, can these get polymorphed? It looks like they may be able to. So if that's the case, they, that might be good. And I wonder if they can actually do their thing if they get polymorphed or not. That'll be interesting. I kind of need to get rid of them. But now this is the other this is the other theory and other things that you're gonna think about is that do I want to spend so long wasting a spell on trying to polymorph them, or mm, or bubbles isn't there to attack as well and or look at that like they they or do you just want to AOE get rid of them and then not have to worry about them. Because that's kind of what it's more likely. And this, this stage is definitely probably one of the easiest stages, I must say. Just because of 
as long as you've got some AoE and you can get rid of the tentacles, the tentacles are what, make, what makes it hard. So if you can get rid of the tentacles, it is definitely going to be a lot easier for you. Not saying it's going to be easy, and Davey going to his chest, that's, that's fine, that's kind of what you want for him. Titans, boom, no. Um, Alright, he's, he's just, he's going to be a monster. Now, do I want to slow her, or do I want to give tactics around? Let's see if I can give some tactics around and see if this is going to help. Alright, so that's, he went away. I just had a quick little error. Um, but we got rid of the we got rid of the tentacles. We healed up Gantu, I believe I had selected. So let's continue with this. And this, oof, goodbye, Ariel. You you really want Davy's little dead men to be taking some of the damage. Davy and his dead men is where you want the damage to be. You want the insta kills to be on the dead men, and Davy to try and come back as much as possible. And yet again, like, so this is this is going to be the downside to using Tower. This is probably the only mode that will be viable at all to use Tower, or the Tower, the Clock Tower. But, but, I will say that it's even not that effective because you need to take out the tentacles as fast as you can. So, mmm, mmm, this is, this is interesting. I was glad to have tested this. And that is definitely what I want what I want to be doing here. Man, he seems to get his taunt back so fast. Which is nice. Because boom, give everybody turn meter. That is nice. And reduce hers. So oh, who do I want to heal? I want to heal probably Davy again. I want to heal Davy, or not Davy, uh Gantu as much as possible. And Davy can just drop. That doesn't matter. But I do need to think about getting the getting the man, Davy is Davy does the work. Boom, thank you, dead man. She's gonna summon another one. Hiya. Get those resists. Boom. Re count the counters on the on Gantu are nice as well. I keep going to say Davy. But the counters on Gantu are nice. And boom, got a chest out there again, man. Davy, Davy is hands down like probably the star. You see, like, even yet again using using the using the tower is still just this is the only mode it will have any effect but it's still you don't want to need to use it although i kind of do want to test this okay down, down in the comments below let me know do you guys want me to just let it run out let the tentacles run out until they pull them off to see what happens let me know if you want to see a video like that boom dead man comes back again davy he is he is doing amazing. So that is good. Alright. Let's us call my little doggy. Do, 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 do. Um man, he he is getting turns. He is just ch charging through on in this raid and in this mode. And then he's gonna taunt some more, keep it away from the rest of everybody else, which is nice. Man. I, I, I like this. I like this a lot. And then Davy just continue to come back. Having Davy this good in a mode makes him uh oh <laughs> insta cool. And at least Davy, because he was adjacent, he got knocked out. But at least he has a chance to revive, which is hopefully going to happen. Now all I need to do is revive and keep the chest safe. Now. Maybe I didn't need to do that, but just to be safe. I probably didn't need I probably should have just saved it until Davy came out, but meh. It's it's pretty much gone now already. So I'm just going to attack the tentacles with these guys just up until Davy comes out. Because ah, uh, and there's that this is this is this is an era where summon minions sometimes you when you when you tell them what to do, you'll try and select targets. It just goes, ability not ready. And one way to get around this is, is oh, it seems to be happy for you targeting Ursula and attacking on Ursula, but it doesn't let you attack the tentacle. So you could click auto, and auto is still going to choose to do her. That is crazy. So because maybe because that's a summon, and these are summons, and then something freaky has just happened. 
that is that is a crazy little bug as well. So that is that is annoying. But hey, the crewman taking the hits, so that's okay. I don't mind the crewman taking hits. And well, now's the now's the time that you want to use the you want to use the <laughs> now's the time you want to use the tower. But it might be too late with this little minion going to go down. So maybe I, I could either try and heal him. And I can't even attack that thing. Okay, that, and that's pretty much like the end. That is pretty much going to be the end right about now. Yeah. Okay. Be kind. Be kind. And there goes the chest. Well. If it wasn't for those bugs, it probably could have done a whole lot better. This team will do a whole lot better with different spells, but this is also probably the only mode to do the spell. So yet again, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys want to let me throw a run with the tower and just see what happens when I take all tools polymorph and turn into pumpkins? But Gantu, doing a decent amount of damage. Davey doing a whole lot, which is actually quite nice and... Boom, this is probably one of the better teams, and it put me up to the top five of my club at the moment, so that is that is pretty good. I've still got another couple of teams that I can run, so stay tuned for more action. Clock Tower, mm. Oceanic team are going to be the best in every single stage, and that's just going to be how they are, And because it's the Little Mermaid. It's Little Mermaid, Ursula Raid, so it's themed around them, so... Get them up, work on them, get your club working on them. Let's, let's see how you all go. Bow to my power. Interesting. It's going to give them a harmful effect and giving the defense down the tentacles, attack, and then however many are there, does more damage. So then the, the Wrath of the Sea, which is the insta kill. Ooh. She's dangerous. She's dangerous, but this is a decent team to get through her. So stay tuned, more content on the way, and I can't wait to hear from you guys.